your engines Drive with a vengeance Gasoline dreams with the true king's attention Not to mention suspense and speed Full throttle to the next turn drift Take the lead Cause the night kid's always the first to push the limit Now it's my time Red line to the finish It's Clash of the Titans Adrenaline rush On the streets where you can't trust Something you can't touch Light speed you can't see it But you know it's there We can feel it all around us in the midnight air Never scared cause I'm out for the title Initialize now we count down to the battle Initial drive, initial dream, initial dreams, initial dream, initial drive, initial dream, initial dream, initial Too close. That is a total drag. It was just getting good. We're gonna do this again real soon. <laughs> Don't think you're so cool. There are all kinds of racers out there. Now I have one more thing to look forward to. This is Sunday afternoon, and they don't need you? Well then, guess that means you're not too useful to them. That is so rude. I was super busy this morning, and they worked two weeks straight, so they gave me the afternoon off. So you got a problem with that? Who, me? No, that sounds fine. So then why did you decide to come down here? No reason. Well, I just wanted to see how you were doing. Besides, Mom and Dad were worried about you. Just tell them that I'm fine, and that I'm working really hard here. Well, I hope so. Oh, wow, I'm really low on gas. I better stop and fill up. Uh, oh, great! My friend Iggy works at a gas station. Let's go there! <laughs> How's it going? Hi! <laughs> That's my friend that I was telling you about. Welcome. Fill it up with high octane, please. Right. Hmm. Oh, her brother seems to be an all right kind of guy. Hmm? I've seen that 86 Turbo before. So, you and my sister are friends. Uh, huh? Do you think she comes across a little pushy? Uh, actually, no, I didn't really notice that. Knock it off, Aki. Next time I want you to butt into my life, I'll ask. <laughs> Truth is, my sister's a really sweet girl, so be nice. Oh, sure. I got another question for you, buddy, if you don't mind. I heard that Gunma has a pretty fast 8-6, is that true? Huh? They even say he's never been defeated. Now, I know Gunma is a pretty big territory, and I don't expect you to know everyone. But I thought there was a chance that you at least had heard of this guy. Of course I have! He's my best friend! Huh? Are you serious? Totally. Your name is Iggy, right? I know you and I just met, but do you think there's the possibility you could arrange a meeting with him? It's real important to me. Huh? I've just got to talk to this guy. I'm just dying to learn more about his 8-6. Yeah, no problem. He's a bit on the slow side, but he's a completely cool guy. I could hook you guys up later on tonight. You mean it? Consider it a done deal. Totally no biggie. He and I were getting together after work anyway. That'd be great. Thanks a lot. Sure. Come back again. 
I can't believe that you know him. Man, what a stroke of sheer luck you guys met and became friends. I don't like where this is going. You only seem to care about Iggy's friend and not about Iggy at all. I wouldn't want to see him get hurt. Hey, don't get so worked up. He does seem like a nice guy. Why are you meeting with his friend anyway? Oh, no reason. I just want to talk to the guy is all. He's got to be pretty good to have won all his races in a place as competitive as Gunma. Yeah, well, I hope that's all it is. When it comes to street racing, you have a tendency to lose your cool once in a while. It's kind of scary. Oh, please, Tack. I just want Carrie's brother to like me. It's not like I'm asking you to cut off your finger. Look, if he's happy, she's happy. And if she's happy, I'm happy. Come on, Tack, spread the happiness. All right, man, I'll be there. But I'm serious. I'm not interested in racing the guy, okay? The new engine isn't much to talk about. Will you uh. relax? I learned my lesson after the whole thing with Zack from the Night Kids. Carrie's brother seems like a pretty cool dude. You'll see what I mean when we all meet later tonight. Wow, three eight sixes all together. <laughs> Except mine's an eight five. He's so young. Hey boss, did you by any chance happen to see that eight six turbo? The one that came in this afternoon? I think I saw it once before when the Red Suns were taking on the Emperors. Oh? That car had incredible uphill acceleration. Since her brother drives a car like that, I was thinking about that girl, Carrie. She might not really be that impressed with Iggy. Cole, you're shooting yourself in the foot again. Your way of thinking must really wreak havoc on your social life. Huh? You can bet anything that Iggy doesn't go around worrying about things like that. Guys who are positive but a bit dorky have a big edge on guys who worry too much. There's plenty of time. Hmm. You got a new engine in it? Yeah, but the real drag about the whole thing is that it's a lot slower than the old one. Right, Tack? Mm-hmm. So that's why he's not going to be able to race for a while until he gets all the bugs worked out, you know? Right, Tack? Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Well, is it a normal 4AG? Um, I don't really know too much about engines. The power seems to be okay, but it's kind of hard to control. It's a weird engine. Hmm. I see. Would you mind if I take a look at it? Uh, no. I don't mind. What is this? Uh, <gasps> huh? Mm hmm. This thing is not a 4AG, even though it actually is a 4AG. Uh, huh? I don't know what kind of joke you're playing, but remind me to laugh later. What? I don't know where you guys laid your hands on this engine. But you can quit with the insults by trying to convince me that it's slow. Well, but, um, what got him so angry? Who knows? I thought we were fellow 8-6 racers. Is it that my cheap turbo's not good enough for you? You owe me an explanation for this, and I want it now. Cut it out, Aki. What the heck are you talking about? Stay out of this, Carrie. It doesn't concern you. Never in my life have I met anyone who has an engine like this for street racing. This is built for professional racing. Huh? I could never afford this. No matter how much I wanted it, an engine like this in my 8.6 would be the ultimate dream. But that's all it is. Just a dream. It'll never happen for me. Never. So what? Who cares? I don't care what kind of engine you have in your car, but why lie about it? If you're fast, why not just say you're fast? Why try and hide it? <sighs> you guys are just a couple of clowns who try to trick your opponent for an advantage, right? No, really, it's nothing like that. You don't need to be a jerk. It wasn't a lie, okay? 
Come on, Iggy, let's get out of here. I'm done talking to this guy. Jack! Running away? Uh huh? I'm not finished with you yet. Oh, great. Tack is losing it. This is gonna be trouble. <sighs> what was that? That's enough. Initial D. Initial D. What is the matter with you? Iggy introduced his friend to you as a courtesy and you act like this? Apologize to them, do you hear me? Right now! Huh? If you don't want to, then go ahead and leave and don't ever come back here! C carrie I can't believe you're so rude to my friend. I I'm doing the best I can to live here on my own. <laughs> you can't just show up here when you like and proceed to ruin my life. It's not fair! Okay, then. I guess I'll be leaving now, Carrie. gonna take off too. Wait a minute, Tack! What are you saying? You can't leave me here alone! Yeah, later. Hold on! Tack! Wait up! Tack! I... What just happened? I never expected Carrie to act like that. She's changing. I guess it must be her coming here to Gunma. For her, it turned out to be a good thing. But as for me... Huh? gets so crazy when it comes to anything to do with cars. Hey, no need to apologize. When I realized you didn't know what Aki was talking about, I just got so angry with him, you know? I guess my hand moved before I could stop it. Uh-huh. Uh I don't want you to think that I have a bad temper or anything. Uh, don't even worry about that! Um, actually... I was kind of glad you did it. Huh? Well, I could see that you were upset about the whole thing and you were just trying to stand up for us. Oh. <laughs> so why did you stop? I think you know that I wouldn't have come after you. But now that you're here, I want to pick up right where we left off earlier. To be honest, I could care less about what you want. But I do need to know something about what you said back there. I need to know the truth. Is this engine really that good? I mean, I can tell that it's not exactly a normal engine. But if you're right about this, and there really is something special about this thing, then you need to tell me why it lacks power. When it comes to engines, I don't even know the first thing about them. Man, you are real serious about this, aren't you? What doesn't make sense is how can an owner not even know about his own car? How could you possibly have laid your hands on this baby then? Well, my dad said that he was able to find this engine somewhere. He wouldn't tell me anything about it though, so I don't know. Your dad, huh? Oh, I get it. He must somehow be involved in the racing industry then, is that it? He sells tofu. Huh? How can a guy who sells tofu get this kind of an engine? It's not something you can just go out and buy. Oh, never mind. I'm just itching to find out the true potential of this engine myself. What do you say? Do you think you could drive me around for a while? 
that way I can actually feel its power. So what are your plans now, Bunta? Hmm, well, the way I figured, it would take about a month for him to get comfortable again in it. He's had more than enough practice with it by now. Yeah, you're right, and that thing you ordered is here already too. So what do you say, is it time? I'm still not so sure. I haven't quite gotten the reaction from Tack just yet that I was expecting. Huh? Uh, don't get me wrong, Masashi. I'm glad that he's trying to compensate with his technique. But I fully expected him to notice the problem by now. So, we'll just have to wait and see. This feels weird. The shifting stalls the acceleration. It has tons of power at the rev limit, but upshifting causes a power loss. This engine must be defective. It's even slower than normal turbo engines. Why? This can't be its full potential. I can tell you the reason you can't generate much horsepower. It's actually a very simple and basic issue to fix. Huh? That thing there. Uh... The problem is your tachometer. The tachometer? That tachometer isn't the right one. It doesn't go high enough. Huh? What you have here, my friend, is a high rev engine, which generates the majority of its power at a very high RPM. The thing is, all professional, normal aspiration engines are designed like this. The fact that you get a surge of power just before shifting is proof of that. You need to rev it higher. So dude, there's no way you've been able to use this engine to its full capacity. I would say this thing has the capability of hitting 10,000 RPM without even breaking a sweat. Oh. A tachometer that shows 7,000 RPM just won't cut it. So the beast remains locked up in its cage. Oh. It's pretty obvious this isn't an original 8.6 engine here. It's called a 4AG, but it's a five-valve head engine that was adapted from the newer 101 engine. There's supposed to be a VVT device that switches valve timing at lower RPMs and higher RPMs. Its absence means that this is a super high rev engine. By the way, I noticed something else unusual when we were out taking this for a run. For the type of engine you have under the hood, the dashboard equipment seems to be very inadequate. At the very least, you need water and oil pressure gauges. It's quite clear to me the person who installed this engine for you has an amazing knowledge of auto mechanics. The tires and brakes are well balanced, so is the body. So then why weren't the necessary gauges properly installed at the same time? I'm sure there's only one answer to that question. For whatever reason, the engine's true power has been sealed off. Wait, sealed off? This is a simple way to do it. In fact, it's pretty reliable. A really good racer won't over-rev, so without a new tachometer to act as a guide when he's shifting, there's no way he'll rev beyond the red zone. I've often felt a sense of camaraderie towards fellow 8-6 racers, but I gotta tell you, hostility has never been part of the equation. I have to admit, this is a first for me. I know that I'm gonna defeat you now. I have to. It doesn't make any difference how skilled of a racer you are. Fact of the matter is, you're lacking the one essential element that all top racers must have. Huh? I absolutely cannot and will not lose to you. We'll settle this whole thing shortly, so you better get ready.
said I'm lacking? An essential element? That was amazing. I actually got scared. The way he entered corners was beyond belief. He can go way beyond the limit that my body is used to. He may not know much about cars, but his technique is unreal. It just doesn't add up. If I lose to him, everything that I stand for will shatter into pieces. My very existence depends on me winning. Aki challenges Tack. The race is about to begin. Next time on Initial D. The seal has been broken. Don't miss it.